Well, Richie, thanks for joining us. Congratulations, your side back to the top of the table, but you're still looking for more. Yeah, I thought sloppy. So sloppy at times. Um, in the first half, we got into areas probably 60% of the time that we, we should have. And then we got into some areas, we have a played a one-touch pass, what wasn't needed, or he wasn't quite fluid in the way that we attacked. Second half, we've got them where we want them and we should be scoring more goals. But, you know, we, we're trying to rush that shot. Every time we attack, when you attack, it's not about score. Obviously, in an ideal world, you want to score with every single attack, but it's not going to happen. Um, you're now leaving three up at the end. So we're attacking, we're, we're playing 7v7 on half a pitch, which we should be able to move them about. Um, and four or five occasions we've shot when it's not on, it's ricocheted to them who are breaking and obviously you've got three V up, that's what the goal comes from. Um, we take a shot what isn't, what isn't on. So a little bit frustrated that we, because again I'm not really concentrating on the, on the, on the results, I want the level of performance um, week in week out and we're getting it in patches which I mean we've scored three today, we could have scored quite a few more, we could have scored six or seven. But I'm actually a little bit disappointed in, that, in the way that we played at times. Two assists from Paul Smith. Yeah, different class. Again, that's what we want. We want him to get in them areas. Um, we don't want him to play and stand still. We want him to play and run. And once he squares people up in this division, he just drifts past you. And then it's about the quality of, uh, of the ball in. The first ball, obviously, if the defender doesn't slide in, uh, Charlie Kelman's there to tap it in. And then the opposite side of the, of the pitch, um, Theo's there to tap it in. So all round good performance from Smudge. But again, he is one that if we can get it where he take it on the back foot and turn in one instant, and he's squaring players up, then it'll make a world of difference to his game and, and our results. Charlie Kelman worked so hard and he grabbed that uh, 90th minute goal for himself. Yeah, he deserved it. He deserved it for his work rate. If you play number nine for me, then you've got another option to work hard. You know, and when you work hard and when you nail it and you work a little bit smarter while the ball is not around your area, it gives you less running. So he's, he's a work in progress. My pity he's got two goals. Careful what I say now, because he's, um, he's, he's just walking past me, so I'll... Um, no, listen, we say, how many shots has he had today? Two. One just misses the top corner. And then once, once he gets in the position like that, my, my ass cheeks relax and know it's a goal. <laughs> my butt cheeks, I'll, I'll be polite. Lawrence Bigwoo is having yeah. an outstanding season. It was a very important save early doors. Yes, it was. Um, happened twice, actually, where the ball's wide and we sink into the box. Our two midfield players sink into the box. And we don't need to. They've got one striker in and around two, our two centre-backs and our two midfield players are sinking in the box. The danger is people in the box. That's what scores goals. So um, the lad hit a shot. You know, from my angle here, I thought it was in three bodies. But um, yeah, Viggs again, outstanding save. Before late Nights third, a goal line clearance from Wood Hunt. Yeah. Did, was it? Did it cross the line? Well, I don't know. The referee didn't give it. From my end, I've got to admit, I thought it crossed the line. I thought it crossed the line because as soon as he chips it over Viggs in the heads, that you think it's a goal. But um, that just shows as a defender, you never stop until until it properly goes over the line. I've seen it back, it's impossible to tell, but the athleticism and the reaction to Hunt, his reactions are spot on because he's worked for me for so long. He knows exactly what is, is required, you know, and again, another top performance from him. You made one change. I thought Dan Happy was outstanding. Different class. Um, again, it was difficult to take Shad out because I thought Shad performed well at Swindon. But the reason why we took Dan out, and players have to trust me, is Dan, I'm taking you out because I've, I, you've got to that stage now where you look a little bit leggy, have a couple of days off, have a rest, come back rejuvenated and again, you know, we're disappointed in there. Viggs is good to know that he didn't keep a clean sheet. Um, but to come here and score three goals, a local derby, fans are excellent. Um, at times it felt like a home game because they were so good. Um, but I do think our play at times did frustrate the opposition and, and quieten their crowd as well. And you made a change again, bringing off Darren Prattley. Uh, yeah, but because he's just cramping up in his... his um, in his hamstrings, as soon as he sees that, and then he just looked a little bit leggy in a couple of stages of play, just 30 seconds before I brought him off. As soon as that happens, we've got a ready-made replacement in Jordan Brown, who's come on again, just shows things up. Adam Thompson come in, played against Frank, we know how strong Frank is, and they've been difficult to play against. Again, he just showed us up. Theo Archibald on target. Yeah. On target, could have had a couple more, and then I think he enjoyed himself for the five or six minutes after he scored, because he wants to do rollovers and lollipops and we don't need that just be effective in the game you know and his opportunities that Theo will score and, and assist this year so no again Paul Smith's got two assists Charlie Kelman's got a goal Theo's got a goal but we're not quite there yet we're not quite there incredible that George Moncur didn't get a goal 
again, I thought I thought Monks was really good in possession today. It was difficult for him today because their four had been told to follow him all around the pitch. So we knew that before the game that the, the, they played um, they played Bradford in a week, and their four follows the, our ten or Bradford's ten all around the pitch. Okay, fine. Keep running him areas, and we'll get Paul Smith and we'll get Theo Archibald rolling into them spaces that you leave. Um, so unselfish from him today. A lot of running without the ball, but um, unselfish and a good performance. From Got a week off now before the visit of Hartlepool. Yeah. Aaron Drynan, could he be available for that one? No, not for Hartlepool. He'd be, he'd be maybe in contention for the Oxford game for 45 minutes and then it'll be the game after that. But yeah, no chance for, for Hartlepool. Are you still looking to strengthen the squad? Um, we'll see, maybe. 1,300 sub travelling supporters. Yeah. Difficult day with the train strike, but they're glad they came. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, when it's like that and you see a sea of red, you know, there's the odd gold in there as well. This is what away days are about. Coming here, not too far. Um, really good atmosphere. A, a good enough performance by us. But you know, when you sing like that, it's, it's, it's brilliant. It makes me feel good. It makes the players feel good, and I'm sure they're all had a good good day and they travel home happy. I'm sure they are. Thank you very much, Thank Richie. You. Well Cheers. Thank you.